Guys, what's good? It's your boy, Phil. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Chapter 152, the last chapter of One Punch Man and all the wacky, crazy shit going down in that chapter. I really just want to talk about Platinum Sperm, the brand new character in One Punch Man. So obviously, as you guys might know, I am a manga-only pleb, and when things happen and I'm excited about them, I just assume that they already happened in the webcomic. That is not the case with Platinum Sperm. Because this guy showed up in the manga brand new. This is a manga, you know, first thing that happened. It didn't happen in the webcomic, which I find pretty exciting. We've had a bunch of these happen before in this series, specifically in this arc that we're in. We've had that happen a couple of times, and this was yet again another uh, another occurrence of that phenomenon. So that's very exciting. I like when that shit happens. We got everybody excited, everybody's surprised when stuff like that happens, and I think it's really cool. So that's why I want to talk about uh, Platinum Sperm a little bit, and kind of some of the weird, you know, like, power scaling i guess i don't know i'm not a power scaling guy but some of the weird shit going down because i honestly don't know who's gonna take this guy down i don't because we were struggling with golden sperm sure he got his little you know forearm chopped off by the fucking sun blade but we were struggling with that dude and i think we're probably gonna struggle similarly with platinum sperm i don't know who's gonna take him on are we going to have King versus Platinum Sperm? That's going to be kind of fucking crazy if that's the case. Uh, that's what today's video is about. And we're going to talk about some other shit like uh, what's, uh, what's going on with Homeless Emperor. All the cadres really that are involved in the, in the arc right now. I want to talk a little bit about Evil Natural Water because, you know, he popped up just randomly in the chapter. He's there now. Is someone going to, like, drink him or some shit? What's going to go down with him? I don't know. And also, Fear Ugly, who's chilling in the background. He's on his way. He'll be here momentarily, soon. Don't forget about that guy, because, you know, it was just a few chapters ago where this guy was snapping shit. So, get ready for him when he does make an appearance. And obviously, I want to talk a little bit about Saitama, because I think he's on the way. I, I think the stars are aligning, and I think he's going to make an appearance pretty damn soon. All fun stuff. Guys, without further ado, let's do this shit. So, from what I've gathered, Golden Sperm came earlier in the, in the, like, the chronology than he was supposed to show up. So now, Platinum Sperm has actually occurred when Golden Sperm was supposed to happen. So that's kind of cool. So I guess, you know, my webcomic boys out there are probably assuming whoever takes down Platinum Sperm, or rather, whoever took down Golden Sperm in the webcomic is gonna take down Platinum Sperm. But honestly, I don't know if that's the case. I mean, we've had shit like this change up a lot of times throughout the series. So it could be something brand new happen that, you know, goes down with Platinum Sperm. But just looking at it from a fundamentals perspective, right? I'm looking at all the S rank heroes that we got on the surface right now. And I don't think any of them could take him down. I'm being real with you. I don't think any of them could take him down. I mean, Bang is preoccupied, right, with Garo. Um, you got you got Atomic Samurai who has the Sunblade and all that shit. Who can't really? I mean, he can't really control it fully right now, can he? I mean, he like had a damn near heart attack when he used that shit the first time. So uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. And I mean, Tatsumaki's really screwed up right now. I don't even think she's conscious. Maybe she's barely conscious. I don't know who's going to take him down. I'm going to say it's probably going to be Scythema or Blast. Or like, not Flashy Flash, I don't think. No, uh, I don't think Flashy Flash. I mean, he's on the way as well. I, f I feel like people forget about Flashy Flash. But yeah, he's he's coming as well. I feel like it's going to be one of those two. Um, ultimately, you know, there's been a theme in One Punch Man. This gets brought to my attention all the time in the comment section. Um, that whenever King shows up and he gets the credit for Saitama's kill, you know, whenever King shows up, Saitama shows up and King just showed up. So I'm assuming Saitama is pretty damn close 
So I think it's ultimately going to be either Blast or Scythema who takes down Platinum Sperm in some wacky, goofy fashion on some one-punch type shit. Um, or maybe they actually fight and, you know, battle it out. Who knows? I think it's it's kind of crazy because <laughs> the, all the sperms, right? All the variations of them are kind of about to get taken down all at once. You saw that little squad of like the hundred of them that were like evacuating or some shit and then Metal Bat ran into them. He started smacking them and shit. Uh, I, I, uh, are we going to have our first, well, not our first cadre kill, but our first cadre kill in this portion of One Punch Man? Maybe. Maybe. I don't really know. Oh, you saw that dust that was flying around? Oh, I got a dust. Holy shit, that was weird. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, Platinum Sperm is, I think, the strongest cadre right now on the surface. I think he is, for sure. I think he's stronger than Homeless Emperor. I think he's stronger than Disgusting Fuhrer Ugly that's, you know, walking his ass over here. Um, Evil Natural Water is also a curious case because, you know, we don't really know much about this dude. We just know he's water and he's evil and he's natural. Uh, I, I could see some, like, goofy shit happening with him, though. Like, sight them or, like, drinking it or some shit. Something like that. Something weird. I don't know. Um... It's, it's very odd. It's very weird, the the, uh, the position we're in, in One Punch Man right now. I feel like, I, maybe it's just me, though. Maybe it's just me who's, like, I, like every chapter I say, Bro, this is the chapter. This is the chapter. Blast and them are going to show up. I can feel it. But, I mean, it doesn't happen, so I don't know. Maybe it's not going to happen yet. I mean, the name of the chapter is Check, right? And I keep asking myself, who are we putting into Check? Is it King putting them into Check, or are we putting King into and check because his name's king and you know chess so i don't know we'll see platinum sperm is an interesting an interesting diversion in the series i i think it's really cool um like i said my webcomic boys out there are probably expecting you know just to replace whatever happens with golden sperm in the webcomic with platinum sperm but i like to think that since we've taken a different route in the manga that some different shit is probably gonna happen but i don't know that's just me and you know, I've been really trying to figure out who's going to end up fighting Evil Natural Water ever since they introduced this guy. I, I've like, I, it's, it's really hard for me to pinpoint who's going to fight this dude. And now at this point in the series, since everyone's kind of fucking injured and like on half health right now, um, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult for me to predict who's going to fight Evil Natural Water. I like this little, this little, uh, this bit right here. I heard he's a dangerous creature that responds to hostile emotions and attacks. Then why? Um, and then obviously he's not doing anything in the chapter because, you know, King is just like, he's just vibing. He's, he doesn't have hostile emotions. So, you know, that's that part. Um, so I don't really know who, what character, what hero has these hostile emotions that, you know, evil natural water is going to have to fight against. Like, I was thinking it's, like, Metal Bad or someone, but I don't I don't think that, that, like, fits the script, so I don't know. This is, yeah, this is an interesting, this is an interesting part right here. I don't, I don't have a call for this, but it's definitely gonna be interesting. I don't even think Evil Natural Water is gonna happen, like, soon. I think this is probably later down the line, uh, and he does, like, some weird transformation shit. I think priority number one is probably Platinum Sperm. I think that's what the next chapter is gonna be about, um... And then I think we'll see, like, Fear Ugly come back into the mix. I don't know, man. There's a lot of different paths that this uh, that this can take right now. It's it's very odd. And, I mean, I don't want to forget about... There's so, oh, there's so many things happening in the back, dude. It's insane. I mean, you have that, that bit with God that, you know, happened with Blast and all them and the cubes and all that shit. That happened. That was pretty fucking cool. Don't forget about that. I mean, something that happened like a, like, I don't know, like six or seven chapters ago when, uh, no, more than that, more than 10 chapters ago, I think, when, uh, when Psycho and Orochi get fucking bodied. I mean, what the hell happened to them? Surely they're not dead. I mean, yeah, you're gonna see Psychos and Orochi, I think, come back at some point. Yeah, surely they're not dead. So... Keep an eye, that's, that's like endgame, I think, though. That's a while away, I feel, but 
Anyways, that's something you shouldn't forget about. And I don't even think we should forget about Drive Knight and Metal Knight. I think those are characters that are going to come back into the mix pretty soon as well. But as for where we're at right now, I mean, logically, dude, all I see happening here is someone's got to take down Platinum Sperm. And it's probably going to be, like, Scythema. And King is going to get the credit. That's what's going to happen. I think... I don't know who could take down Platinum Sperm. He he seems very strong. Um, I'm I don't know. See, this is another thing I was thinking about: is Platinum Sperm in the manga stronger than Golden Sperm in the web comic? I mean, by the names, right? You could assume so, but if Platinum Sperm is just taking the place of web comic Golden Sperm. That really means they're the same power level, isn't it? I don't know. I try not to get into the power scaling shit. Um, that's a thought I had when I was like thinking about this video. It's very interesting. I can't wait to see what happens in the next chapter of One Punch Man. We're at a pretty damn high point right now. That's that's for damn sure. Uh, I I would like another troll chapter with like King's like point of view and everything. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to get some legit shit pretty soon. Or maybe we're going to get some other points of view. Maybe we're going to get, like, Metal Bat's point of view. Maybe we're going to get, like, Zombie Man's point of view. Uh, Child Emperor's point of view, who just showed up in the manga again. So, there's a lot of... There, I mean, thinking about, you know, what heroes we have that are, like, you know, pretty damn fresh right now that aren't on half HP... I think Child Emperor is pretty fresh. He doesn't have a lot of technology with him, though, which is not good. Um, Metal Bat King, obviously. Puri Puri, maybe. That's it. Zombie Man. Those five are, like, the only fresh heroes we have right now. So, bad things. Bad things are going to happen if Scythemon Blast and Flashy Flash don't show up. Flashy Flash is fresh as fuck, yeah. Those guys, for sure. Bad things are going to happen if they don't show up. My number one prediction is that they're going to show up pretty damn soon. So wait for that. But guys, that's a video. That's all I wanted to talk about. I really want, I really just wanted to plot some ideas in your heads about Platinum Sperm and what's going to happen with this guy. Do let me know down below. What do you think about, uh, about Platinum Sperm and all that shit going down? What do you think is going to happen in the brand new chapter? And if you're a webcomic reader, let me know what you were thinking when, when, when Platinum Sperm showed up. Because I know you were probably fucking oozing everywhere. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.